Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Drea from Drea in the Water and a little different setting today. Today I'm not in water, but I want to talk to you a little bit about my water journey. So recently on Facebook, I made a comment. I said something along the lines of, I'm stepping out of my convince energy and stepping into my watch energy. And um, it was a very, for me, a very vulnerable statement. Some people were like, yeah, I get it, I love it. Some people were like, huh, right? So I got some questions and some comments. But I really think that watch energy is the space for healers, teachers, um, anyone that operates in that space. And I know I'm gonna use myself as an example, I'm gonna use my eye words. <laughs> I've been really focused since becoming a counselor and eventually a coach. I've been really focused on training and teaching and telling, and I've created all of these avenues to help others to reach um, the points in their lives that they need to reach, right? So I have lots of content that I've created, lots of master classes and um, lives and things like that, really focused on giving people the information that they need in order to to up level to do the things that they want to do in their lives um but i have reached a point in my own career like really honoring my own capricorn energy and my own personality that i understand that you can only take someone as far as they want to go and that because of the society that we live in, because of the way that we're used to consuming information, we are taught to act after we believe and not believe and then act. We're taught to act after we believe. And then we believe only after we see. And, and even then, we believe to a degree. And so what I recognize is that if I believe my calling, if you believe your calling is to advance a population, um, is to um, help people to see a possibility, then sometimes the best way to do that is not to teach, not to pull, not to, you know, not to, sometimes the best way to do that isn't to teach, sometimes it is to show. Um, so when I say that I'm walking into my, my watch energy, it's me saying I'm gonna be completely vulnerable. Um, right now I am headed into a transformation I believe in reinvention. I've had to reinvent myself several times over my life. Most recently, I had to reinvent myself because I wanted to step back into corporate. Um, I wasn't exactly sure what I wanted to do, but I knew that I needed to have another stream of income and I needed it to be a nice size stream of income. And so what was easy at my disposal, what I believed for myself was that I could probably do that um, by obtaining a job, but it just, it couldn't be any job. It had to be an amazing job. So I had to reinvent myself and become the type of person that could attract this amazing job. And I did that and I shared some things, but I didn't share everything. So what I've decided to do a bit on this channel is yes, I want to focus on um, you know, water wellness. And I want to show you how I use water in um, my reinventions, my rituals, my wellness practices. But I also really want to be completely honest about what reinvention looks like. So I'm inviting you, if you're a healer, if you're a trainer, if you're a teacher, if you're a coach, to follow along in this process with me. And I'm going to be sharing some aids and some resources and some tools, but also just, I'm going to pull back the curtain and let you see what it looks like to completely reinvent because reinvention is totally necessary. Everything evolves. And I know growing up, um, changing was something that was looked down upon. It was like, oh, you've changed. And that was a negative thing. And it takes a certain level of emotional intelligence and knowledge and wisdom to understand that change is beneficial and that yes, I've changed and hopefully you, you did too, or you're changing as well. 
But intentional change is powerful when you're able to say, ah, I need to be this. I'm going to go and grab this identity. I'm going to go and grab this belief system. I am going to go become so that I can elevate. That's a very, very powerful experience. So um, that's what I'm inviting you to do with me over the next 90 days. Really just spend some time with me, watching me reinvent and watching me evolve and hopefully doing that along with me. I'm stepping into my watch energy. I'm inviting you to step into your watch energy as well so that we can become the versions of ourselves that we need to be in order to attract whatever that next thing is. So the next series of videos that I will be producing will be tools, tips, rituals, resources, all along the lines of um, evolution and reinvention. So if that's the type of content that you're interested in, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. Be with me. I'm going to be very open about what I'm doing and why it's frightening <laughs> because um you know, we are always taught to come on a platform like this and just present as if everything is already perfect. And I'm what I'm saying is that I'm going to show you an evolution. So if that's interesting to you, grab your notebooks, grab your tablets, think about what you want your evolution to look like and go on this process with me. OK, the fun thing is that the journey doesn't have to start on a Monday. The journey doesn't have to start on the first day of the month. The journey doesn't have to start on the new year. At any point, you can decide that you want to reinvent, right? Um, and you can start that process. And it is a process. So I'm suggesting that you plan for at least um, three months. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer than that. Sometimes it doesn't take three months, depending on how huge the evolution is. But I will talk to you in another video about um, my goals and my process for achieving those goals and how I become another person, like how I embody a different being, a different way of being so that I can now step into this elevated version of self. So that's coming um, and love to get your, your thoughts, your questions, your comments. Leave me a comment below. Let me know, you know, what is it that um, is most interesting to you? Where are you in this process? Have you ever reinvented? I mean, I guess let's start with that question. Does this sound completely crazy to you? Or have you been in a process where you have reinvented before? Um, if so, then some of this may sound a little bit familiar, but if this is brand new for you, let me know in comments and, um, and just make sure that you stay posted because it is, the, the thing is, you know, if you've never had your own experience with reinvention, then some of this is going to be a stretch for you, but you can arrive. You can do this. We may not arrive together. You may arrive at your space before me. It may take you a little bit longer, but with consistency, mindset, belief system, and ritual, we will get there. So plug in, subscribe. Um, let's communicate. Let's make sure that we stay in community with each other. And um, and I'm just going to show it all. I'm in my watch energy. I'm I'm not training. I'm not teaching <laughs> right now. I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted. And so in order to not, no longer be exhausted, I have to change. So here we go.